Coach Beekner, you guys uh, recently had a, a fundraiser for former heavyweight, for, former uh, Buffalo Bull heavyweight Jeff uh, Jeff Parker. Yes, sir. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys did. Well, we did a lot of things, but this bracelet here that I've been wearing, I've never worn any kind of jewelry in my entire life. Uh, says Parker on it. Uh, he's a heavyweight that uh, was a captain of ours. He came up with a melanoma cancer in his neck. He was treated for it. They removed a big portion of his muscle right here in the side of his neck, and then they did treatment. They thought they got it all. A couple months later, they went back and they found out that the melanoma had metastasized in his liver and his lungs. So now he's got spots in his liver, lungs, and a little spot on the other side of his neck. Um, it's a it's a very serious cancer. It's one of the worst you can have, truthfully. But he's a great person. He's a really hard fighter. He was a fighter for us, and you know we expect him to win this battle. So. He's just the kind of person that you want to do a fundraiser for, not on just his behalf, but on cancer research behalf, uh, because he didn't really want this to be about him. He wanted this to be about kids and other people going through the same thing. So we decided to raise money for Jeff Parker in case he needs the money, in case his insurance doesn't pick up the costs or some of the costs, for Carly's Club of Buffalo, New York, which is a cancer research organization for children, and uh, the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston, Massachusetts. So we're raising money for all three two foundations and Jeff Parker. Our original goal was just to raise $10,000, which is a good goal for, you know, for a wrestling team. We wound up uh, you know, raising $33,000 for the event, Whoa. which is um, a tribute to his character and his personality and the friendships he made on our campus and in our administration and our wrestling room. You know, if you're not a good person, if you're, if you're a person that nobody respects and nobody likes, nobody's gonna show up for an event. He's just the opposite. He's the guy that everybody loves and respects. And it was it was definitely you know something you could see at the event that here's a special person going through a really troubling time, and the people showed up. They showed up with money. They showed up with gifts, and they showed up in a, in a way that you know I can't even tell you. I was so impressed and so happy and proud of our community, and uh, we're going to continue it too. The New York State Collegiate Coaches Association is going to adopt the Take Down Cancer um, thing, and we're going to and we're going to move it forward next year as an organization, and we're going to raise more time and more money, and we're to raise more, you know, everything uh, to fight cancer on his behalf, and, and uh, it's just a, a very worthy cause. Coach, thanks for the time. Thanks for letting me in on it. I will be up on your campus here in the next six months, I promise you. Thank you. And uh, we'll check out. You guys got a good thing going on there. You're a fully funded program, yep. and uh, a lot of people don't know about Buffalo. We're going to show them. Thank you.